Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Just been walking around out here in the orchard, checking the moisture around these trees. They're still okay. They're going to have to be watered again. Let's see, today's Monday. They were watered Friday and Saturday. So... These are going to have to be watered again like Wednesday. Uh, I'd hate to have to get into a pattern of having to water them all twice a week. But they are young trees. I just want to make sure that we don't lose many this time like we did last time. I also wanted to check down here and make sure that these got watered. Yep, they did. Just checking to make sure that the ones on this end here, because it involved putting two hoses together. I also want to go around the chicken enclosure. Yep, still doing good. I've been leaving the pump on 24-7 for the last week. And the pond has quit going down. I'm going to triple check here. Yeah, it stopped going down. So I guess that's what I'm going to have to do is just leave the pump on. I would estimate that it's putting maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred gallons a day into it. It's doing good. I'm going to have to go in again and clean out that, I don't know what's the name of it. That light green stuff there, it's like it's like a water cabbage. Uh, clean it out again before it gets too well established. You can't leave one little sprig in there or it comes back, but it's almost impossible to get to get it all out. Let's see here how this is doing. Still moist there. Keep moving, dogs. Let's see how this one's doing. Still good moist there, so I guess if he did water these. I'm trying to look, yeah, I can see that little dent on the top there, where the water went in, a little dent in the rice hole, so, she got the hose over here and did water them, I should probably go inside there and check those as well, we didn't get home until late yesterday, today's Sunday, so we got home late evening, Saturday night. It was payday. Everybody was in a hurry to get home. And so I didn't get much of a chance to ask about the progress made. It was already dark when we got home. And I couldn't even I couldn't even well, I'm not going to take this call right now. I got inside my shoe. Checking all these here. You know, they look better in two days. 
And I can tell that these here are still plenty moist, but I don't see that dent in the top of the rice holes from them being watered. Of course, the rice holes were probably damp when they brought them down. They still are, so whatever moisture was in the rice holes is still there. See, that's one thing I should have been, I should have talked to Ippy about is how far she actually got on these watering. She's coming back again tomorrow. So if she didn't get to it, then that's going to be part of her project tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm thinking she did not get to these. But the rice soles were put around them yesterday and they were quasi wet when they were put here. But they need to be, these plants need to be watered so that there's, so that not just the rice holes are moist, so that the actual soil is moist down in there as well. As you can see, they're not doing real great some not so bright guy had made a snarky comment about not watering banana trees. Just basically talking out his arse. You know when they're big like that, when they're mature, they don't need to be watered and they'll still produce. Because even the, and even the small ones will do okay because they're part of the main root system. But these have been transplanted, and they're not part of a big uh, mature tree, and so they just have little roots on them. And if there's no water in the soil, then they will die. That's a perfect illustration of someone who just really doesn't know what they're talking about, but feels inclined to leave a comment and then prove to the whole world they don't know what they're talking about. Well, I'll make sure she waters these. I see even something this size that's probably, you know, this is eye level right here, and so the leaves go on up, way up like that. It's like six, eight inches across at the trunk. I see these don't need to be watered because they've got plenty of roots going down. And they store a lot of water. They, anytime it rains, it does store the water down in there. But it has to rain once in a while. And we haven't had any rain for, oh, I don't know, going on two weeks now. And things dry out quick here. Wanted to check, so that's what I wanted to check over here. See how far they got with the rice hulls. Make sure they got to this area down here. Yep, they did. So they got all these done here as well. Well, that is just looking great. The trees themselves aren't looking that great because these are a bit dry also. They're still young. All right, well, it took three or four days, but five days. But basically all the trees that we have were, uh, the weeds were taken down around them, the rice holes were put around them, and most of them were watered. So we got a little bit more watering to do and then we're good for another three or four days. I'm gonna check the limoncito trees back up top. I'd hate to have to water them twice a week. I was hoping to get by with once a week, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, many of you been ask, have been asking why I don't put the, the uh, drip system in that uh, 
William Montgomery sent us. And the answer for that is, is that to use one of those pumps, uh, those are real pumps, they're not like sump pumps, so they can't operate in an inch of water. Uh, the whole casing of that pump has to be in the water, it, it, it keeps, it helps keep it cool. And uh, the intake is much higher up on those pumps than the kind of pump we have now. So the bottom line is, is that we would have to dig our well five or six feet deeper to make it uh, viable to use that pump. Those kinds of pumps also cannot run dry. Any pump, it's not good for them to run dry, but especially those. And these, our well is a surface water well. It's not a deep water well. There's not 15 or 20 feet of water encasing uh, for the pump to draw on. The other option is to take one of those pumps and just set it down into the uh, reservoir tank, the, the water tank. That holds right close to 3,000 gallons. Uh, we could use that. It would have to be an open line system though. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to run it from the main, well I guess I could make it run it from the main tank to the pressure tank and then run the emitters off of that. It could be one way to do it. Um, if we if we don't dig the well down anymore then that's most likely what I'll do. I'll just set that pump one of the pumps inside the water tank hook up the other water tank and go from there. I'd kind of wanted to have these uh, uh, I, I was I, the thing is is I haven't done the the math yet on how many emitters it will take if and when we ever put do you have 100 do I have 100 yeah. <laughs> what do you need 100 are you short of vitamins Tata yeah. Yeah. Gina. Gina won't give you any vitamin money oh my god <laughs> All right, hold on, Tate. Hold on, Tate. So I, I still owe you one thousand, yeah? From yesterday. All right, and here, give this to Gina. Now I only owe her five hundred. Oh, five hundred. Yeah, no, give Gina that one thousand. Then I owe her five hundred. Let's see what I got in my wallet here. No, no, five hundred. I don't have any five hundred. Tell Gina to give me five hundred. Yeah. Tell Gina she owes me five hundred. One K is for you. One five is for Gina. Yeah. I didn't have enough cash yesterday to pay everybody, everybody, but we went to the bank today, got it all straightened out. Anyway, as I was saying, I haven't done the math on how many limoncito trees we could possibly put in in these rice fields down here, and I so uh, and I haven't done the the gallon per minute output on the pumps or on the pump. I don't know how many emitters it will support. I don't want to use the the drip system on these trees up here, these trees, and not have enough to completely do this field down here. Uh, I know I could all do it all in zones, but I would like to uh, be able to do it all at one time. But if I can't, I do have the zone, the zone relay system. So I don't know. Just uh, was procrastinating until it became uh, absolutely necessary in the dry season. But we're supposed to—it's supposed to be raining for another couple months here. So I've been kind of dragging my feet on it. But I'll get it taken care of one way or another. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.